1964, three members of Carl LaRue and his crew from Buffalo, New York, decided to stay in Phoenix and create a new band. They joined with several local musicians and ultimately formed Dyke and the Blazers. In a short time, the group had developed a strong following, eventually playing a steady gig at the Elks Lodge, the hottest club this side of the color barrier. Art Barrett and Austin Coleman noticed the wild response to the band's breakout song and approached Dyke about recording it for local release. In 1966, a one-hour recording session at Audio Recorders produced the classic soul sensation Funky Broadway, about a stretch of road in Phoenix lined with CD bars and pool halls. Its exposure caught the nation's ear due to its raw sound and the shockingly unclear meaning of the word funky on a record. R. Lester Dyke Christian fronted the original Blazers with his Buffalo buddies Al Vester Jacobs on guitar and J.B. Hunt on sax. They joined Phoenicians Alvin Battle on bass, drummer Rodney Brown, Rich Kaysen on organ, with Bernard Williams and Clarence Towns on saxes. Shortly after the record was released, the band took to the road on a cross-country tour, ultimately performing at New York's famous Apollo Theater. Although the band split up after this tour, Dyke continued to record until 1970. Four years later, on March 30, 1971, Dyke was shot and killed on Buckeye Road in Phoenix. In those few short years, Dyke and the Blazers left their indelible funky sound on dance floors everywhere and in the hearts of soul music enthusiasts in Arizona and around the world.